very warm Herzlich welcome to Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello and welcome. Today is all about microscopes. What does it actually mean, microscope? In Greek, micro means little and scope to see. So that means to see a little. That doesn't exactly explain what we really do with it. When they were invented, well, that nobody knows. We can't really comprehend that because it was a sort of development. We think that the Dutchman, Janssen, with his son, about around 1590 to 1595, invented the first one lens microscope. And much earlier, there were, of course, magnifying glasses. A microscope, or one lens, is a sort of magnifying glass. The Romans, long before, had a glass vase filled with water and stood it on top of something and had this magnifying effect. You know that maybe. When you have a glass of water stood in front of you, and there is a newspaper or something the like, and everything is a bit bigger underneath it. And then there were lots and lots of developments with a lot of famous names behind them, for example Galileo. The big step came as the basic plans were worked over. Then had Ernst Abbey the first steps for our microscopes of today. Several lenses, ocular one, an objective, the other there are also even more lenses in it, depending on what type of microscope depending on what type of enlargement we need. Then it will virtually be an in-between picture be made, with which we, by using the ocular, we can't look at. Lot of speaking to just know the basics. We all know magnifying glasses, we use them. When we are getting older, I always have one in my work desk, or even little ones to take with us. There are also multiple ones, which you can put on top of each other. But I don't like them much, they don't work for me. Or well, that for what is very important for me, that we can enhance the optical microscope to a digital factor. That we have here, I have a microscope camera, it stands at my workings place, and with this I look at soldering joints, for example. Search for components, inscriptions and the like. We have here on the screen, very nice, the presentation of this. I can hear really close up. And that is big, I can see it, and you have a larger monitor, you can see it even better. When we see the original under the microscope, then you can see it is pretty tiny. So a microscope is in many areas a work in help. When we take the original microscope and join it with the digital technique, and additionally to the optic of a camera, with a display and a connection for the computer, then we are at the standard of our times. Where we have in schools and at work microscopes which help us to understand our products better, better to verify and to control. The student microscope, PCE BM100, it makes a good impression and looks very stable. It is very flexible in its usage because it can show enlargements from factor 40 to 1600 and we have here different objectives on a revolving part. Now I have it at the moment on the four times enlargement now I have turned it and have the 10 times enlargement and now on to 40 times. Additionally to that I have in the ocular a lens with a 10 times enlargement. You have to multiply this so I come from 4 to 40 to 400 times. That is not yet enough. I can also enlarge the picture digitally. With factor 4 I can make up to 1600 times enlargement. So now we can have a look at that on the screen. After I've done my basic settings, I take them out of the menu here. I've already put an object holder onto it. And now when I focus it with the large turning wheel on the side, then at some point something comes. A cell structure, you can see, and I can also on the left side set the brightness. 
That is the lighting from below setting until it is sufficient for this purpose. Or I can also turn on an overlight here on the right side. Then as you can see the LED lighting for the overhead lighting. That means I am very flexible. It doesn't matter what I want to present, either from underneath thin layers or so, or if I want to light it from overhead, everything is possible. And now, when we look at that on the display, that is not everything. It isn't a volatile picture, I can also what I have there record onto a memory card, which I can stick into the side here, there's also the USB connection, so that I can connect the device to the computer and send the pictures over to the computer and work on them and observe them. So all together a round package, even it is called a student microscope, but you can work very well with it, also in your occupation. From PC, the VM21, a workshop microscope. As you can see, it is made very massive and robust. And when I look at the display, it is pretty large. 22 centimeters in the width and 160 in the height, with a 800 times 600 resolution. A very nice device, very special. I would like to point out that you can put large objects under it because when I see the distance to the objective, it is pretty good. I can also, with this device, have overlight and underlight be set separately. I also have the possibility to record the data. I can also transfer the data to the computer and observe it live on the computer. But what it can, I will show you now here. I have here in my massive pad stocks of crane bits chosen a plastic cogwheel. And you can see very good here in the middle, that is the area where it is put onto the shaft. And at the top you can see the teeth. And when I play with the overlight and underlighting now, you can see that you can develop the structures. That is now the overlighting from the spot and I can set the angle too. Now give the underlighting to it. You can see that the teeth turn proper plastic. I can see that this cogwheel has a certain deepness and I can look at it exactly. The representation is unquestionably a very good thing. Enlargement is adjustable from 12 times to 75 times. And when I transfer it live to the computer, this picture we will see here, we have then there, I should wobble it a bit here so that you can see that it is really live. And so how I move it here, it is transferred to the computer. And there I can save it as a picture or a video or however, to evaluate it later or to be documented to see where a fault was or not, or see to see if the quality is good. So a workshop microscope with a wide area to examine objects and the data to evaluate and save onto the computer. The MVM 3D from PCE is something very special. 3D is obvious, three-dimensional, I've only thought how would you get a 3D picture onto a 2D screen. And there is something very brilliant happened. I will show you that straight away before I talk too much about it. Have a look here on the screen, that is the totally normal picture, 8 inch display, 800 times 600 resolution, and now I turn it into 3D mode and all of a sudden the part starts to turn, as if I had it in my hand and would have moved it back and forth. The picture is light, clear, very definite. You can see the wear here. There is an old shutter release from an old camera. And you can see the faults. There is a lot of wear on it. Look at the part, how it turns. 
so as if you had it really in your hand, even though it is very small. This movement I can change in the speed. That is probably interesting with some things. And I can also turn the movement direction round. That is also possible. So now I can make it slower. There is a big motor driven deflecting mirror in it, which deflects it to 45 degrees. And it goes onto the object, and although the object is laying still, we can see from the camera that it is laying totally still there, and is as though it is moving. And is a, I can look at it from different sides. A very brilliant idea, and you have to also know that from this device you can transfer everything to the computer. Save everything and even save it as a video so that you can later in a documentary or presentation show the part from different sides. Although I have only laid it down, so at the moment you can see the live picture on the computer, that is also possible. It is transferred live over the USB 2.2. That's all really. So a Microsoft which I think you cannot make it any better. The enlargement makes it possible smoothly to sit 12 to 75 times. It has a large working room of 175 millimeters. That means you, you can put very large objects under it. Operation is simple as usual. And there is a menu with a lot of settings possibilities for contrast, color and so forth. The picture itself is much nicer what comes out. I was delighted to see what is possible today to do with a still object. So now for a summary, three microscopes from PC. Here we have the student microscope, BM100 with a 5 megapixel resolution, enlargement up to 1600 times when you count the electronic enlargement to it with four times, a microscope not only for students but also for the hobby area and also for the simple working conditions. Now absolutely professional, the VM21, a microscope with an 8 inch display, 800 times 600 resolution. Look at the picture quality, it is unquestionably perfect. That is a real picture, not a sticker or something. A microscope for the workshop area. And then we have the top device, a 3D microscope with a rotating lens on it, a mirror system with which we can rot the picture as if we had the part in the hand, and to observe it from all sides. All of this you can naturally save onto a memory card or transfer to the computer as a picture or video file to look at it any time. Microscope, small to see. You would have to say here, large seeing. Great devices, because it is great what they can do.